Based on the well-proven design of the Canamad series, we have developed a new Canamad version for processing two-piece DWI or DRD cans with body diameters from 52 to 83 mm and heights of up to 120 mm. There is also a version for heights up to 150 mm. In this configuration, two-piece DWI cans with a body diameter of 73 mm are processed in a spin flanging station with 10 tool heads and a beading station with 14 tool heads, as well as in an integrated light tester with 10 tool heads. This gives the machine a capacity of up to 1600 cans per minute. To show you the highlights, here are the details of the Cantec technology. In the spin flanging station, the can is held by magnets in the double pocket guide. During lift up, the can is centered by the conical disc, which is also called the pilot of the flanging tool. Both the bottom plate and the pocket guide perform a working stroke, during which the flange is sequentially formed by the driven flanging rollers. The flanging tools do not need a stop ring. The flange width is only adjusted by the height setting, which is easy to set. In addition, the conical disc of the flanging tool reduces the polygons formed during flanging. The beading station has been designed as a special rail beading station with 14 tool heads. For the precise beading of two-piece cans, the inner beading tools need to be very rigid. Therefore, they are fixed in the beading station and do not move up or down. When the can enters the beading station, a can lifting device moves the can upwards to the operating level of the profiled outer beading rail. The increasing profile of the beading rail progressively gets closer to the driven inner beading sleeves, thus forming the beads during three rotations of the can. An extra feature is the roll bead at the bottom of the can, which enables the straight rolling of the filled cans in the autoclave. The roll bead segment, as well as the roll bead rings, known as end caps, are exchanged during height changeover. The lifting device includes a strip-off plate to move the can reliably downwards. Furthermore, the depth of the bead can be finely adjusted separately on each beading tool by turning and clamping the eccentric bearing sleeve. For 100% inline leak testing, a light tester using the well-proven Sencon light testing technology is integrated into the Canamat. The tester uses flashing infrared light, whose frequency automatically matches the production speed. Although invisible to the human eye, the special camera used can see the flashing light. The pocket guides and the chuck plates are made from transparent acrylic material and the center shaft is covered by metal light reflectors. The can is pressed against a seal ring. In this way, the flashing light reaches the entire exterior of the can, including the bottom. An ultra-sensitive sensor can detect any infrared light inside a leaky can. If a leaky can is detected, it is ejected at the outfeed side and transported on a separate lane. To show how this works, the faulty cans are marked orange. To enable convenient quality monitoring during production, test cans from the respective tools are pre-selected on the control panel. 
The test cans are separated at the outfeed side at the push of a button. To change can heights, each station can be adjusted very easily. Only the height dependent parts of the beader have to be changed. The Canamat 2PC, a new, highly efficient machine for processing two-piece cans with the smallest footprint you've ever seen.